Let me ask you a question. If you have a lot of symptoms and you're micromanaging symptoms, chances are you haven't got to the root cause. What does allergies, low blood sugar level, hypothyroidism, hypoglycemia, diabetes 1 and 2, depression, fatigue, even anxiety, constipation, digestive issues, SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, and leaky gut all have in common. Because they actually do. They have one thing in common. Malfunctioning liver. Bet you didn't know that. Because most people are treating symptoms. But it's happening. All these symptoms arise from a malfunctioning liver. And how does that happen? Well, your liver makes enzymes. It makes something like 2,000 enzymes every single day. Let me show you what the liver needs every day as part of its raw materials just to keep working at its optimal. So your liver needs a whole lot of things to synthesize hormones, to detox, to excrete pesticides, chemicals, and even excess hormones. So when the liver doesn't get those nutrients on a daily basis, it doesn't make enzymes. And when it doesn't make enzymes, every other organ starts to suffer and it depends on the weakest genetic link. It could be the kidneys, it could be the lungs, it can be the pancreas. Now, this doesn't happen overnight. It does happen over a period of years and decades. So this is how people develop serious conditions. But if you wanted to improve all those conditions, your best bet is to regenerate your liver. Your liver makes glutathione, which is the most important antioxidant in the body. It's what detoxes us. It's what gets rid of heavy metals. And in order for your liver to make glutathione, it needs selenium. It's a mineral which is deficient in some soils around the world, such as New Zealand and Australia, it doesn't have selenium. Hence, is it any wonder that thyroid medication is the second most dispensed medication in the world? Not that it helps, because most people still feel crap on thyroid medication. But you need selenium to convert thyroid hormones in the liver. You also need selenium to make glutathione to detox heavy metals. Now it's starting to make sense. Now glutathione is not something you can take synthetically or as a supplement and there's lots of companies that have tried to make that happen and it's a very expensive supplement but the best way to have glutathione is when your liver makes it from cysteine, from selenium, from methionine. And Dr. Ben Lynch from MTHFR who's very well known, has written many books, he's an authority in this field. He said in his podcast, if your liver doesn't make glutathione, if you can't improve glutathione with a liver, all the B vitamins and all the folate and all the methylation subs are not going to make any difference. Now that's a gem of information, isn't it? Because that's what people are doing. They're micromanaging MTHFR with different forms of B vitamins, B3, niacinamide and folate. And what you really have to do is regenerate the liver, get it to make glutathione, and you need to make sure you have other minerals. There's one other important thing your liver makes. It's probably the most important thing because many people worry about cancer. And I have worked with many women who've had cysts and fibroids and um, hysterectomies. And when I looked at their hair test, I could see why. Your liver makes an enzyme called lithocolic acid. Lithocolic acid is a gold mine because it eats away cysts, cancer, tumors, and growth as part of normal digestion so that those things are not expressed in the body. Do you see how enzymes are important? Can you see the connection? How having a proper functioning liver is going to prevent all those things because you can't micromanage them. So to make lithocolic acid you need to give your liver raw materials and to make sure it's making enzymes including glutathione. So if you 
struggle with fatigue, low blood sugar level, or any other symptom, and you would like to get to the root causes, I offer a free consultation to explore how you can become more energetic, resilient, and improve your well-being by regenerating your liver instead of micromanaging every single one of those symptoms, which is very long, frustrating, expensive therapy.